how it goes, Nasuko, bringing you some gameplay here on Black Ops 2 on Turbine. I went uh, 40 and 2, and I, as you can see, I'm using the PDW, which is exactly why I did this good, because this gun is a beast. Too much of a beast, actually, in my opinion. But whatever. You do what you gotta do to get some gameplays. I use this pretty much all day the same day, and this was actually my first quote unquote full game, even though I joined in, like, I'd say about quarter of the way through according to the score at least but anyways <clears throat> I ended up getting my load star like once I think yeah I got it once and I don't know I got my load star <laughs> so anyways this isn't really about the gameplay uh, if you if you're curious my loadout is um a diamond PW I have a silencer on it I believe I only have a silencer on it and then I have scavenger uh, dexterity engineer and then my perk one class <clears throat> is lightweight and hardline and in my opinion that's one of the best classes that I've used in a long time because oh yeah and I'm using C4 I don't have any tactical grenades <clears throat> but at least according to some dude who went 202 and like 5 I don't know I don't remember the exact score but he had an insane score on YouTube and that's the class that he used and works for him and it apparently works for me so if you want to do better in Call of Duty, try it out if you don't want to be a tryhard using the PDW, but anyways, <clears throat> I would first like to wish each and every one of you a happy new year, each and every few of you that actually watch my videos, but hey, whatever, I have fun, I enjoy my viewers, you guys are usually quiet, but, but it's okay, I still love you. <clears throat> and of course, I wish a happy new year to everyone who doesn't watch the video, but obviously if they don't watch the video, but they're not going to know I wish them a happy new year. But it's the thought that counts, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and have a little announcement saying that uh, my Oblivion Let's Play, although I've been fairly inactive with it lately, it's going to be postponed for a while, hopefully not too long, but I'm not going to be able to upload any Oblivion for a while because I got my new terabyte hard drive for Christmas, and we finally installed it in my computer, except... I didn't have the correct wires for it, or enough wires for it, to, like, make it start working and be installed correctly and everything, but my DVD drive, my CD drive, whatever it's called, D drive, I don't know. Anyways, I, it held the cor correct wires, but, um, so basically I had to give up my CD drive, disk drive, disk drive, that's what it's called. I had to give up my disk drive in order to get my terabyte hard drive working, so the point is, since I don't have a Steam copy of Oblivion, and I only have a copy of it with like a good disk, <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to play Oblivion for a long time, which means I can't record Oblivion, and I don't have any spare episodes to upload as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know. So it's going to be postponed for a while, hopefully not too long, but I'm afraid that it will be for a while, because usually stuff like this we don't worry about for a while whether it be for money issues or things of that sort <clears throat> but um back to the topic at hand which is new year's new year's resolutions things of that sort everyone's talking about their new year's resolutions it's fairly natural as far as i know it's shared upon by many different countries other than just western north american south american countries maybe i'm wrong i don't know but um let me know about what you guys' New Year's resolutions are, but what about mine? I'm, I'm sure you're curious. I know you are. Go ahead, ask me. Well, you can't ask me, so I'm going to say it anyways. <clears throat> what I really want to do, I, I mean, it's not like a... I, I guess it's a specific goal. I mean, I have more than one goal, honestly, for my New Year's resolution. But first off, if I'm not sure if I've said it before, but when I grow up... Like, when I grow up... When I turn this many, I want to be. <laughs> yeah, for my career, I want to um start making games for a living, basically. Video games, not... Preferably not like those Angry Birds, phone, casual kind of games. I'm talking about I want to make Call of Duty-like games, the Elder Scrolls kind of games, stuff like that. The more intense, serious, beautiful, intense kind of games. You, you know what I'm getting at. Games like that, not games that you play on your phone. I mean, not hating on those kind of games, but basically I want to 
quote unquote master really just get learn the basic concepts all the basic concepts and apply the concepts uh, that I will learn throughout my modding spree whatever my time modding so I can eventually create a standalone game hopefully but I'm not gonna there's no way I can create a standalone game this year because standalone games take a while to create in itself but um <clears throat> what I really just want to do is I want to learn the basic concepts enough so that I can create a full-blown like mod say for example in oblivion I want to be able to create a giant city that has quests and I want to have custom scripts and meshes and textures and things of that sort and maybe like create a map in Left 4 Dead 2 or something I'm not sure I want to learn I want to learn how to mod basically I mean nothing really else to say about that oh yeah by the way with the gameplay um, it just ended right there, but I think it said I got like 38 kills and 2 deaths, I'm not sure, but just trust me, I had 40 kills and 2 deaths, you can think about what you want to think, oh no, you just didn't want to record the rest, but whatever, I mean, it's not a big deal, in my opinion at least, just have faith in me that I'm not lying, and I went 40 and 2, but anyways, I'm, I'm not quite done yet, so let me continue on, I might add another gameplay, another little short gameplay or something, but um, I also want to grow my YouTube channel. I started back during the middle year, middle area, near the end maybe, I don't even remember honestly. The middle year of the first Black Ops, except I had a crappy 240p recording device. I used my, I recorded my voice with my headset, my Sharkcoon headset, and it was just, it was shit basically, it was not good. And I was not good at commentaries, I'm, I don't take myself good at commentaries right now honestly but that, that's one reason why I do live comms but that's a different story different topic different video different time blah 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 but then the 2011 Christmas year came along and I got a little upgrade I got my Avermedia capture device I don't remember exactly what the capture card is right now but I got that and there were some other issues I got a mic as you know the old, good old Mexican music mic, whatever it is. I had difficulty with that thing. And it was in the time of Modern Warfare 3, and during the time of Modern Warfare 3, I didn't post a lot of Modern Warfare 3 for several reasons. But, um... <laughs> I was still being held back by either technically deficient technology. I mean, I, I don't know. Basically, I had a lot of fault, faulty technology stuff like mics computer parts, stuff like that, that I got and either did not function fully or correctly or did not work at all. But this year, now I can record in HD. I have a perfectly fine mic. It is the Blue Snowball. I have a headset again. I mean, there's nothing really holding me back except for my desire to make YouTube videos. And I'll be honest, I'm a naturally lazy person. I'll probably never get rid of that trait of being naturally lazy. I have around, say, a 4.0 GPA right now. This current year, I have like a 4.3 something, but I have final exams coming up, and that'll either bring it up or bring it down, or stay the same. The world may never know, but, um, one is, even though I have that, I still feel like I'm really lazy. I'm a bad procrastinator, and honestly, a lot of times I could make YouTube videos, and I just said, no, I don't feel like it, I don't want to do it. Or I make a video and I just half-ass it. I just don't give it my full effort. And I mean, it's not, I didn't have the software back then, but even so, that's no excuse to not make a video have as high quality as it should have. I mean, now, basically, I just want to make the best videos I can. I want to get better at commentaries. I want to get better at live commentaries. Be more exciting. Like, get rid of my get rid of my monotone voice and commentating like this all the time you know you you know what I mean right yeah anyways <laughs> um <clears throat> I just wanna get better because there's nothing holding me back now except for my own desire to make YouTube videos and the same goes with you guys I'm sure there might be some th a thing or two holding you, holding you back but that shouldn't stop you guys from trying anything whether it be whatever goal whether you have acne on your face and you don't want to ask out this cute girl in school. Now, I mean, she might say yes, she might say no. If, you, if she says no, then you have to move on. But this isn't advice 101. 
Go to Woody's Gamer Tag, ask him for Mail Monday. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not the one for this yet. But I would say for my second part of my New Year's resolution would be basically to get better at YouTube videos, not get lazy. Lazy out on a YouTube video when I have the opportunity to make a good one with a good topic. I have several topics in my head right now that I would love to do. I've had opportunities to get a gameplay, because I have several gameplays right now. I just need to get up and do the commentary, but I just haven't felt like it. So, I just want to get better, not get lazy, in making commentaries, and hopefully out of that, I will get a good view source, or view count, all that, because making videos is fun and all, but it's more, it's more enjoyable when other people enjoy it with me. I mean, I'm not sure if you know what I'm saying, but... And if you call me a money whore, I'm not making any money off this. I'm not even sponsor sponsored. I'm not even partnered. So, I just want a good sub base. There's no specific amount. I just want some people, you know, hang out. This is the little chat room, the place where we all chill out and talk to each other and be friendly and stuff like that. Express our opinions. This channel is going to be about opinions. When it comes to post commentaries, they're mostly going to be about deep topics. Mostly. <laughs> Sometimes there might be jokes, but th this is going to be the channel where you guys can express your opinions, and at least I hope for it to be, so you can express your opinions, so I can express my opinions, and so you guys can help understand me and understand each other better. That's, that's my overall goal, but anyways, I've been rambling on long enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe in whatever corner it is. YouTube layout has changed. I still am not used to it. I'm pretty sure it's still... No, bottom left corner? I don't know. You, you can find it. <laughs> I'm not a website beast. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. And this is Nasuko, out.